you know, I got 98% of what I wanted. I'm pretty happy. The, the Republican budget essentially keeps the sequester. The Democratic budget in the House and Senate would essentially eliminate the sequester and pay for it. So apparently the Republicans are saying, let it happen, even though the Speaker said it was a terrible policy. We're facing up to that in the Democratic budgets, and we're replacing it. We're replacing it with revenue increases and sensible budget cuts. Essentially, the Republicans are saying, kind of take a hatchet. And they say, cut these programs, cut Medicaid by although, half a trillion, uh, you know, cut although, Medicare. Although to Ryan's credit, uh, and, and this may not hold any water with you, but you know he's even getting flack from members of his own party that he didn't go far enough in cuts. Look, because there are people who are more radical than he is, but that doesn't support what he's doing. The fact that the Tea Party is kind of taking control of the Republican conference and made Paul Ryan a little less so, but theirs is really an extreme budget proposal. Again, it has a four to five trillion dollar gap because it cuts taxes for the very wealthy, and he doesn't say how you make it up. Yesterday on the floor, I said to, to Paul Ryan, give me one specific, give me one indication. Congressman. You say ways and means it has to find trillions. Give me an example of what you would do. And there was complete silence. All right, Congressman. So I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic in the sense there's goodwill, but the policy differences are very vast. We're going to have to sit down and try to resolve this.